What is good, cutter people, and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Bob Malam, breaking into the SoundCloud headquarters while all the employees are in lockdown to re-upload Lil Uzi Vert and Cody Shane's I'm So Gone song together because apparently it has been officially removed from all platforms. But before we get into all that, Bob Gang featured comment of the video is from Joan or Joanne who said, at this point, we'll get a whole lot of Bob before a whole lot of Red. Low key though, y'all might be right because I don't know what Cardi's doing with this rollout. His hype is at an all time high right now. So if he don't drop soon, who knows if the label is ever going to drop it. While we're on the topic though, if y'all send me beats and reference tracks for some songs I can rap over without sounding like an unmuscular Michael, I'll shoot music videos to them on an alternate channel. So hit my line on any social media in the description if you're interested. I'm also looking for voice actors who can sound like different rappers like Cardi and Uzi. So also hit my line for that. Stay tuned for the next project I'm working on in the Stummy channel in the description. But back to the topic, I'm so gone, removed from all platforms let's talk about it Okay, so earlier this morning, Cody Shane surprised us all by dropping the long lost, highly anticipated snippet previewed all the way back in 2017 called I'm So Gone on SoundCloud. In fact, she teased the song a few days ago on Instagram attempting to start a TikTok dance trend captioned, go make your video on TikTok and use my sound. She tagged Lil Uzi Vert, hashtag I'm so gone challenge. So you would think with a promotion like this, in addition to reposting other fan snippets dancing the song afterwards, it would be an official drop. However, the song never made it on Spotify, Apple Music, and was even blocked on YouTube for copyright infringement. Nonetheless, the fans were just excited it was out and thought it was just going to be a SoundCloud exclusive. If not that, some fans even thought she was hacked and whoever had control of her accounts dropped the track on her behalf. However, Cody Shane cleared that theory up when she tweeted shortly after the upload saying, do y'all love me now? Therefore, most likely releasing it on purpose. But this was confirmed later. Only a few short hours after the hype grew and the Uzi fanbase regarding the song finally dropping after three years of eternal awaiting, the song was also removed from SoundCloud entirely, originally thought to be due to another copyrighted content block or strike that we witnessed on YouTube previously, but we come to find out later that she was the one who actually removed the song herself and that people rated her comments asking why the song was removed, to which she responded, ask Uzi and ask Uzi why I did it, which angered a lot of fans, but more importantly created more multiple theories as to why Uzi would be the reason the song was taken down. The first theory fans have conjured is that Uzi never approved the song to be released and that Cody was just using his name as promotion given he is currently at his peak, sales wise at least, in 2020, whereas her career has been a bit stagnant compared to all the artists she came up with such as Trippy Red, Lil Yachty, etc. She doesn't seem like the clout chasing type to me, so I'ma give her the benefit of the doubt in believing she would not do this because she seems pretty genuine, but on the other hand, I did think people were right in the comments claiming that it wasn't right of her to redirect angry fans to Uzi when he isn't in the wrong in this scenario. The other theory, as always, is that the label halted the entire drop, either not approving Uzi's verse completely or wanting to release it under his name for maximum sales. Uzi could have also wanted to release the song under his name as well, especially because I could see this single being a perfect contender for the perfect love tape 2 that we are expecting later this year. Nonetheless, it looks like the label issues were the primary reason for the song removal because about a week ago, DJ Don Cannon was on live discussing I'm So Gone and at first he didn't even know what it sounded like. Asked about I'm so gone. You, I asked, I asked bro about that song the other day. <laughs> I don't know what I'm so gone is. That's that's the Cody Shane joint. I'm so gone. Oh I'm, my god. There's Cold so one. many, there's so many songs. I don't you, know. You you know exactly this one. Uh it's on YouTube. 
Yeah, I think uh, Ma I think Maddie P did that beat. The the one joint. Oh, uh, bro, I don't know. Oh, here you go. Oh uh, yeah, wasn't that on? That's that leaked on the internet though. That, nah, only a, a portion of the song, not the whole song. Uh, but when I when I talked to him the other day, I said, "Yo, <laughs> you should put that joint out too. Fuck it, put all the shit out." <laughs> nah, don't put every goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Hell no!" I said, "Hard though." I said, "I said that's like a good little, like uh, if you was if you was if you could say he was missing something from the album, would you say like a hit, like a money longer, or like one of them joints?" I felt like that's something that could have gave him like a little more radio angle. It was is a is a safe little song that don't sound like nothing that's out right now. But it's a slow, it's a slow joint. That's the only thing. It's just slow. Somebody on this motherfucker said, <laughs> "Yeah, somebody on this motherfucker punching the air." <laughs> somebody said, "Cannon like a dead damn." <laughs> By the way, for those who don't know, Don Cannon is a co-owner of Generation Now, Uzi's label with DJ Drama. Therefore, we can assume that if one of Uzi's label executives didn't know much about the song only a week prior to it releasing, then it definitely wasn't cleared to release. You'll also notice Don Cannon spoke a little bit about the release process with Uzi specifically in which their strategy isn't to drop everything and he really didn't care that I'm So Gone leaked assuming that it was on YouTube uploaded by someone else earlier in the video, confirming the fact that the song wasn't really a top priority to release for the label. In the end, Cannon also kind of attempts to change the subject, possibly knowing that they denied Cody Shane when she wanted to clear the Uzi feature. Additionally, this convo on IG Live possibly confirms that Uzi didn't even want the song to drop as we discussed earlier in the video and that he apparently said hell nah when told he should drop the song. And if you recall on Twitter the night before Eternal Take Deluxe aka Lil Uzi Vert vs The World 2 on March 12th he responded to a fan asking what are your plans with the Cody Shane song please bless to which Uzi said I got you I got you let me work these first which could hint towards it dropping later but what I'm thinking is that it was sort of a diversion where he doesn't want to say no to the fans so he's delaying answering the question. I've done it before and I'm sure all y'all have too. Another theory that I just thought of is that this could have just been a quick tactic to finally give the fans what they wanted with the full CD quality file of the song whereas before we only had the remastered snippets. She essentially dropped the song on SoundCloud for people to download real quick then took it off with no harm done other than her and Uzi's label probably being pissed. <laughs> This is not at all confirmed, just rumors, but apparently one of the reasons I'm So Gone was delayed in the first place all the way back in 2017 other than Uzi's label issues, which could very well have been the entire reason, was because Uzi didn't like that Cody Shane remixed one of his leaked songs called Doe Up. Like with Lil Yachty as a feature and uploaded it as an official song under her name on her YouTube channel without telling him. The song at this point has accrued over 2.5 million views and was one of the songs that helped her gain some traction at the beginning of her career. But again, this was all speculation from what I've read on the internet. They could all be BS and they always been cool. Last thing before we go, Lil Uzi has yet to respond to the situation in any capacity, not even saying her name with a smiley face on a tweet like he did with Playboy Cardi, after I'm sure thousands of people have been flooding his comments asking where the song is. So I hate to say it, but I think this song may have been a little clout grab for Cody Shane or she just didn't like how he and or his label denied the feature clearance. So with that, it's your boy Bob and Lamb converting the old SoundCloud link of I'm So Gone to an MP7 file where you can literally smell what Uzi and Cody's cologne and perfume they were wearing when they recorded this song in the booth. Let me know in the comments what y'all think is the reason the song got taken down. Make sure to like and subscribe while you're at it as well as to keep up to date with me on all my socials in the description if you wit it. Peace out crowded people. Not saying.